Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be discussing a, 19, a 1980 movie, Candy Shack, starring Chevy Chase, Ryan Dangerfield, Bill Murray, and Ted Knight. But this movie is celebrating its 40th anniversary you know, this year, the year during this video, in 2020, so it's appropriate to do a review on Candy Shack. Well, in terms of there's not really much you could tell about this movie, because everybody knows. Pretty much knows this movie uh, for, for the most part. It's one of the biggest comedies uh, of its time, and it's one of the few like parody movies in terms of you know class structure in this film. Well, this movie, like I say, so it's Chevy Chase is maybe this golf expert who could have been could have turned pro and he did, and he gets challenged into a golf match or a four or a four way uh, you know golf match and he teams with Ronnie Dangerfield on one team and Ted Knight <coughs> and another character in the film and the, the other two in, in the four in the tandem there in the, in the four I mean golf two guys on one side two guys on the other playing golf for like a bet because Ted Knight couldn't stand the Ryan Dangerfield character and because they thought it was rude and uncouth and you know it was a temporary member of the uh, the golf club there the, the club you know, for, for the golf for when they play golf all the time because Ted Knight's character is going to be a judge and he's a permanent member of, and create this you know uh, country club and here comes Ryan Dangerfield's interloper and he ruins everything, messes everything up. So they decide to challenge him to a golf match and on they go. Well, all that stuff is going on. You have Bill Murray, who is the groundskeeper of, of the country club, and he's trying to kill this gopher. He's kind of like a puppet, an animatronic uh, gopher. And he goes around and Makes holes, cause trouble for Bill Murray, and Bill Murray is trying to do everything he can to kill the, you know, the, this gopher. And of course, he can never do it. And of course, the gopher is always going to, you know, playing like that. I mean, it's re re really crazy stuff is going on with, the, with this gopher. And uh, so, so that's pretty much, it's like the, mostly like there's interwoven stories into this mo movie comedy. And during the golf match, like I mentioned earlier, one of the caddies gets a, replaces Ronnie Dangerfield's character in in that golf because he, oh, he, it looked like they faked an injury, so he wouldn't play. Uh, so 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 this caddy took over and actually beats the judge, and he ends up getting the the scholarship to go to college. Uh, spoiler for those of you who didn't see this movie, but of course this movie is not that. I am say is that after watching it for the first time, you know, fully for the first time, I don't see what the impulse of this movie. True, you have uh, Martin White and Angel Phil's first films. You know, in this movie, you have Chevy Chase, and you know, Chevy Chase was still, you know, quote unquote funny. And of course, he had Ted Knight, I think, I think it, was the, it was on the Mary Tyler Moore show, and it was about to store it on Too Close for Comfort. So you have you know, rec you do have some recognizable stores in this in this movie, but as a whole, this movie to me this movie sucks. I mean, it's not not very appealing. This movie is not very appealing. Um, you do have iconic moments in this film. I mean, you do, uh, especially when there's a scene where Chevy Chase is punning and he's making those sound effects. Like, eh, 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 eh. You, you, you know, the sound effects, sound effects, crazy sound effects, you know, for the ball, ball getting into the, uh, into the hole. Uh, you have that, you have, of course, the scenes with Bill Murray trying to kill the gopher, you have those scenes. But after you see one or two of those types of scenes, and it keep do keep rehashing it throughout this film, after a while, it doesn't become funny anymore. I mean, true, it's a 40-year-old movie, and true, except for... Ch uh, Ch Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, and, uh, and, the, and the guy who plays the caddy, Michael O'Keefe, who plays the caddy. The other two stores in this film, in terms of uh, Randy Dangerfield and Ted Knight, both of them have long, long since died. Well, Ted Knight died back in the, back in the late 80s of a, a heart attack. 
and the same thing and, and Ronnie Dangerfield passed away about like 10 or so years ago 10 20 years ago so two of the characters have since that died so so those of you who don't know who these cat you know, these characters are or who these people are you're like who are these people I mean in even if it takes his career is like dead right it's like it's like, it's like on life support right now and and you had uh, Bill Murray, he, he, who he's still around, but the other actors, like, who, who the hell are these people? You don't even know who the hell these people even are, because either, either they're dead, or have died since the mo movie, or, or that the careers are dead. You know, one, one or the other. And so, and but this movie, the plot is not that great. And believe it or not, folks, they actually made a sequel, this time with, Jack, with Jackie Mason in it. And this, that movie, I remember seeing the second movie, that movie is even worse than this one. Uh, but this movie is kind of iconic because of, you know, the talent involved. I mean, if you didn't have this eye-class, uh, eye or first-class talent in this film, people would say this is one of the worst movies ever made. Um, and I can't get that feeling with that, because I'm not a big Chevy Chase fan. I do like Ronnie Dangerfield, I do like Bill Murray, I do like Ted Knight, because I'm familiar with Ted Knight's work. I grew up with it, but but the the rest is like the movie is it's, it's like the airplane for golf. Remember the movie Airplane, which just uh, received review. It's you know a parody of the disaster films. Well, Candy Shack is a spoof of class welfare, class war between the classes, which is what this movie is, and and a parody of. You know, the country club lifestyle. That's what they did in this movie, and it was and it was co-written by Howard Ramis, who of course co-starred uh, and also wrote movie Stripes and Ghostbusters, which is also rocking star Bill Murray. So you know you have him, and then I think this was one of the first movies that Howard Ramis uh, co-wrote, and you know, he he co-wrote the other movies were a little bit better than better than this. This thing. I mean, I didn't like Kenny Shack. I just didn't like Kenny. I think it was a piece of garbage. But, you know, it is what it is. It is, you know, the only other thing stuff is to see Bill Murray going after the gopher. And, and maybe some of the funny lines by Ryan Dangerfield, because he does do some crazy stuff in this movie. He had like a radio and a phone in his golf bag. I mean, I mean the type of stuff that Ryan was doing was kind of funny. Of course, he had the line in the end. He says, I mean, he actually does win. The, you know, the bet from 10 night in the end. And he says, hey, everybody, let's get laid. You know, in, in the end of the film, and that's how the end the movie ends. But, I mean, you still see the go for you know, da dancing and stuff. I mean, but, the movie is not that great. I mean, it just really isn't. I mean, it's, I mean, because of, I feel the movie is kind of dated. I'm saying, despite, despite the talent you see on fire on the screen. So that's my review of the movie Candy Shack. Please click on the video, please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video on your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. It's all W D Y. Let's see.com. It's the homepage of the reviewer, Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.